Hey, Fearless followers, Pastor Aaron here with your Fearless Word of the Day. We are in the last week of our Thrive Study Guide, looking at the commandment of do not covet. And every day we've been looking at what it means to actually, instead of coveting, live in contentment. And today our Word of the Day comes out of Colossians chapter 3, verses 5 through 8, and it says this, Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. In these you too walked when you were living in them, but now you must put them away along with all anger, wrath, malice, slander, obscene talk from your mouths. In chapter 3 here in Colossians, Paul is writing to the church, and in verses 1 through 4, he reminds them, hey, you've been raised to new life with Christ. He is alive, and through him you are alive too. So, you know, set your things on, your mind on things above. And he's using this above, below, heavenly, earthly metaphor to challenge where they're finding their security and satisfaction, where they're finding their contentment. And in passage, you know, in the verses five through eight there, he outlines all kinds of things that are earthly, right? Things that we put our trust in and, and, and our, our uh, significance in instead of our relationship with Christ. Instead of being raised to life with Christ, well, we turn to sexual immorality, impurity, evil desires, covetousness, which is idolatry, and we depend on wrath and malice and slander and anger and obscene talk. And all of these things are idols. They are temporary pleasures that we are trying to use to fill a everlasting hole in our hearts. Instead of turning to the power of Christ, we turn to things that we can control and manipulate. Instead of letting Christ raise us to life, we, we stay in the death of this earthly realm. And, and we turn to these idols and we give them the throne of our hearts instead of giving God the throne of our hearts. And, and Paul says, hey, the wrath of God is coming. His wrath is already at work here on earth, purifying us. It's a gentle wrath, right? God is slow to wrath. Slow meaning he loves us, but wrath meaning that he's serious about faithfulness to him. And one day when we stand before the judgment seat of God, his wrath will peel away all of the attractive packages that our idols had, right? Whether it's relationships or media or food or shopping or porn or substances or workaholism, all these things that we can kind of put a virtue around on that day will be exposed for what they are. Ugly, gross imitations that we are seeking fulfillment in instead of the peace and power of Christ, instead of being raised to life in Christ. I, I think about, you know, how sometimes my kids want a snack, right? We were just on vacation and four o'clock, five o'clock rolls around and they're hungry. We just had a big lunch, but we're getting ready to have dinner and I'm grilling chicken or steak on the grill. And they come and say, I want a snack. I'm like, no, you can't have a snack. We're about to have dinner. I've prepared this delicious meal for you. Just hold on, trust in me. And still my kids are like, I want crackers, I want Cheez-Its, I want, you know, whatever. I'm like, no, don't eat trash, I'm grilling steak. And it reminds me of how God must feel when we put our significance in these idols, in these coping mechanisms, in these vices, instead of his provision. Instead of living in contentment and being raised to new life in Christ and putting away the things of this earth, so often we go back to the mud and roll around with the pigs and we're not living into our true identity as sons and daughters of God. He wants us to live in the contentment of his provision, not in the vices and coping mechanisms of this world. So in our study today, it encourages us to make a list of our idols. What do you turn to for comfort, satisfaction, and control instead of your relationship with Christ? The shopping, work, relationships, substances, pornography, whatever it is, man, that is just a pale imitation to what a personal relationship with God offers us. So I encourage you to make that list today. Submit it to God and trust in his provision and walk in his ways and he will open up a world of power and purpose to you that you cannot have without him. You'll step into operating in his kingdom. You'll step into thriving in life as you learn to live in contentment. 
My name is Aaron, and that's our fearless word for the day.